What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac sign. Sorry, y'all, I was in the middle of cleaning up and my phone started. But we are going to dive in and see what messages come through for you, okay? Let me clean this up and I'll be right back. Okay, my bad. I had to get that all cleaned up, y'all. I'm so sorry. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple of cards here. Let me mix these. Shuffle these real quick. Let's get a couple of cards to see what's going on. You got the kids outside? Little bullies out there. I had to send some kids back home. Like, mm -mm, we're not doing that up here. You're going to have to go home, baby. We're not bullying up here. We don't do bullying at this address, okay? <laughs> Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? What are the messages? What's going on with Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know at this moment? What messages does Scorpio need to know at this moment? What are the messages? This is the Alice in Wonderland deck. Okay, bottom of the deck says six choices, feeling blocked or restrained. Okay, so somebody feels like there's a blockage or somebody feels blocked in some sort of way. You know what, it's crazy because it's been coming out of an odd reading, so it's kind of like the same energy. 31, believe strange encounters. All right, Scorpio, so if you've been feeling blocked or stagnant or you feel like something's not happening, and then all of a sudden, something out the blue happens, just know it's meant to happen. You may be like, hmm. That was strange. Kind of like what just went on with me. Like, I just went outside and little kids, you know, one kid bigger than the other trying to bully a little kid. And I'm like, okay, you just need to go home, sweetie. Everything happens for a reason. So don't, don't uh, look past something because it's, it's happening for a reason. It's meant for you to notice something or something. This could be like a strange encounter. You might meet somebody at Walmart and somebody just randomly walks up to you and they're like, hey, you know, God bless you or something like that. Or they just stop and you just start talking to them and something like that. Something random is going to happen. And spirit doesn't want you to second question it. Okay, whatever it is, 31, three plus one is four. Could have to do with your foundation, home, something like that. 34, impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, Fresh perspective. I'm telling you, yeah, <laughs> these cards is something magical is going to happen. This and I feel like it's going to happen when you've lost faith about something. Hey, there's Oreo. <laughs> you've lost. That's a big cat, y'all. If I can get a picture of him, if he get close enough, I'm gonna I'm upload it. Oh, and there go Luna. Oh, they in love. It's it's something. See, strange encounter. Look at there. They just right there. They all hugged up, kissing on each other. How cute. <laughs> anyway, some of y'all might have lost faith in something. Or like, you just, I don't know. It's like, you may not understand. This is like losing faith in love. And then you see the two cats and they all in love. And you're just like, how did they meet? Oh, that's so sweet. I don't know. <laughs> something random. Like your faith is going to be restored in some sort of way. And three plus four is seven. So something something strategic, like the universe is setting something up strategically to happen for you, Scorpio. And it's right when you've lost faith in it, in a particular situation or in a dynamic in some sort of way. Why do I feel like I need to grab some more oracles? Let's see. Let me, let me use this deck. This is the Psychic Tarot. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? Justice, balance. So balance is being restored. Justice, karma is being had in a situation. Financial material changes. You may not understand why something had to be released, something had to be let go of, or why there's a change in your finances or stability or... This could be like you going to the ATM and the ATM decides not to work. And so you have to go inside the bank and you just so happen to meet somebody that you never expected. They end up being the love of your life. Positive movement forward and the will of fortune. Yeah, the, whatever is going on, something is happening for your higher good. Like the will is being turned in your favor. You may not know why that relationship ended, but it's directing you to where you're meant to be. Or you may not know why that job ended. Well, it's directing you to the job that you've always wanted. The pay that you've always wanted. The vacation time you've always desired. 
just know whatever happens, happens for a reason. There's no... There's no rhyme or reason to explain it. It's like it's it's being, it's divinely guided by the universe. You see what I'm saying? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? True mental conflict, victory and success. This, I'm telling you, it's like. You're kind of like, what the world? Like, so, like you've been stagnant on something or you've been stuck in something. This is like, this is like a relationship that you've been stuck in and you're just like, it's not going anywhere. You feel like it's stuck. And then you're just like, I don't know. I've lost faith in that this is going to move to the next level or that this is going to, to progress or this is going to happen. And then like, out of nowhere something happens and like the whole dynamic of the relationship changes either you release the person or either you release old values old thoughts or it, it's something and this is directing you towards your victory and success look conflict and defeat yeah this could be you saying i don't know why i had to release that or i don't know why i had to let that go or i don't i don't know you were self-sabotaging or something was being sabotaged here Crown chakra. Look, emotional loss, five of cups. You might not have understood why something happened in the past, why a certain situation didn't work out. And it's like you're being shown why it didn't work out. Oh my God, what is going on here? Give me another one. What's going on with Scorpio? <laughs> no, what's going on with Scorpio? The moon card, shadow something hidden that you couldn't see the heart chakra when it comes to the heart when it comes to the the energy of love stand your ground spiritual union material and spiritual prosperity something is guiding you towards a better relationship a better connection here like you're for example let's do this Say a relationship didn't work out, right? And you ended up leaving that relationship and then ended up taking a job opportunity and come to find out this job opportunity is bringing you in the money you've always wanted, the stability you've always wanted, the happiness you've always wanted. And then you started to realize like, wow, you know, I'm really happy with me, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, happy with myself. Give me one moment. Sorry, my son keeps running in and out and he's trying to wake up his sister and honey, I'm like, if you don't go outside, go, go outside. <laughs> you were being protected from something. And I don't know what it was. You were being protected from something. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm sorry. So what I was saying was like, for example, say a relationship didn't work out, right? This relationship didn't work out. So then you was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to take that job opportunity. So then you go after that job opportunity. You end up being successful. You end up having the money that you wanted. You ended up finding happiness within yourself. And then this is it's like something about your money. Because you have material and spiritual prosperity. Money and your, your self-love. There was a hidden reason why something did not work out. And it has to do with love here and your foundation firm foundation prosperity begins your money it helped push you forward you're going to start to see why that particular relationship didn't work maybe you find out the person's a bum <laughs> i don't know or they y'all two weren't meant to be together at that moment or at that time i don't know or if this it directed you to the person you were actually meant to be with some of y'all are going to find this out here. What's the balance card for Scorpio? What's the balance card for Scorpio? A lot of y'all... A lot of y'all are going to find out the reason why the relationship didn't progress or the relationship didn't turn into this or that job didn't work out was because you had something better. You had something better. Great fortune. A lot better. 
coming towards you, whether it was a relationship, job, money, finances, stability, whatever, okay? False person. And whoever you were with or connected to, they weren't authentic anyway. They were wearing a mask. This is the type of person like you were you're about to make the most money you've ever made in your life, right? Let's just say it like that. But you were with somebody that was a blockage. Let's be real. The bottom of the card said what? Choices, feeling blocked and restrained. It was a blockage. Like out of nowhere, this person breaks up with you and you move on. You move away. You take on that new job. You pour your heart and soul into your new project. You pour your heart and soul into your business. That person was a blockage, but they were also like sent to guide you into the direction that you're supposed to go. A lot of y'all are going to look back and you're going to be like, man, I'm glad what I wanted, I didn't get at that time. Because everything that I wanted, I have now. Yeah. A lot of y'all were with a, a thief. What, lovers? Courtship? A lot of y'all was in a relationship that was literally robbing you of your energy, your power, your light. And you might not have seen it at that moment, but like, if you look back and you're like, man, I am, I am in a way better place than I used to be. Like, look at my money. Look at how happy I am. Look at my mental you know, look at the clarity that I have. Like, I actually know who I am, what I want to do. If you haven't been in a relationship, you just, you lose yourself. Yeah, that's what's going on here. What's the mental conflict? Adjudication, community. Because a lot of y'all were stuck, whether it was like around family, around a lover. A lot of y'all were stuck. This person was one foot in, one foot out, or you were one foot in, one foot out, didn't know what to do. So it's like... Something had to give way. Despair and community. A lot of y'all had to give way. This could have been like family, you know, being left out, being, what is it, ostracized, being outed, being abandoned, being neglected. Some of y'all felt like, you know, this is my family. Why am I being pushed to the side? You needed to be isolated because you were stuck. You couldn't see. You were blinded about who was truly there for you and who wasn't. House, yeah, some of y'all, this has to do with a family dynamic or like with people that you broke bread with at one point, you know, ate with, laughed with, joked with. These same people could have like switched up on you out of nowhere. And you were just like, why did this happen? Why are people treating me like that? I don't understand. Why are people pushing me away? Why are people misjudging me? They were meant to. This is pushing you in the direction that you're meant to be. So what's the what's the shadow of the moon energy? Scorpio. You were meant to focus on yourself, main female. Look, main female, main male at the bottom of the deck. You were meant to focus on yourself so that you can be directed to the person you're meant to be with. Or this could just be you, divine, feminine, divine, masculine energy, finding balance and restoring balance within you. Doesn't have to be about another person. Yeah, because a lot of y'all got people around you that are thieves. And a lot of y'all may be thinking about this now. You got thief, message of concern, and thoughts. Some of y'all may be looking back like, because it, it, the crazy thing is they were hidden with the moon energy. They were hidden. You couldn't see that these people were robbing you blind. You couldn't see that these people were taken from you. You couldn't see that these people were hidden enemies. These are the type of people that always want you to show up for them but when you try to show up for yourself you call it selfish when you need to focus on yourself you selfish yeah that's that's these energies you might not have understood why a certain person kept to stop visiting you or why you stopped hanging with that particular person or why you stopped hanging with them folks or why they stopped messing with you it's because they realized they couldn't use you anymore spirit was blocking them out of your life what's the justice with the great fortune Saying a lot of y'all about to walk into one of the most, the most abundant time in y'all's life where you've had the most money, the most success, the most recognition, the best, like you're, you're going to be able to travel more. You're going to be able to work less. You're going to be able to just enjoy life and all of these leeches that were around you. You're going to start to look around and realize they are no longer there. 
and you're going to be like, your, your bank is going to be looking better. Your money is going to be looking better. Mentally, you're going to be feeling better. Spiritually, emotionally, you're going to be feeling better. It's like you're not carrying the weight of all these people. What's the great fortune with the balance card? Great fortune with the balance card for Scorpio. Yep, baby, hope. <laughs> Your hope is being restored. It, this is like looking back and seeing like, wow, look how far I've come. Look how much I've accomplished. Reunion. There's also going to be people that's going to be trying to reunite with you. Yes. But you need to make sure... Yeah, young woman, friend, surprise, servant. A lot of y'all are going to be meeting certain people that are meant to be in your life at this time. Like, they're not going to be with you with hidden agendas or hidden reasons or, or, or hidden situations, you know. Um, like, oh, I just seen 555 on the phone. Oh, she's yawning. They're not going to be around you because of what you have. See, these are going to be new people that may not know who you are fully. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't. They don't know what you have in a bank. They don't know um, how much you're worth, how much your value is. These are like new people that you're meeting, and they're meeting you for the first time, and they're authentic. So these are going to be people that are like true, genuine friends with you or love you in a way, not because of what you have, but because of the type of person you are. They're not going to be used, you know. What's the adjudication with the mental conflict? Adjudication and mental conflict. Widower. See? A lot of y'all enemy. Bottom of the deck. Told you. A lot of y'all had to like let go of people. Some of y'all y'all were married to this person. Or in a relationship with this person. A lot of y'all had to let go of a relationship, a situation, because you found out you were sleeping with the enemy. This person was using you. They were one foot in, one foot out. They would come in and pretend to be happy when they needed something. Consolation and merchant. Or they were only happy when you could buy them something, give them something, offer them something. Mm-hmm. Fortune, what I tell you? Your money, your finances, your stability. Whatever. And then fortune doesn't have to be money, y'all. Fortune can be just your energy. Them being around you brought happiness, brought luck, brought opportunities. You see what I'm saying? And so these people would come in your life. With the mental conflict, they'd show you love and show you admiration and be around you and spend time with you. And then the moment you could no longer give to them, they'd be out. And then they'd go off, do their own thing. And then when they need something again, they come back. I see y'all letting go of somebody for good. With that widow card, you're putting an end to something or someone. Also, be careful. If y'all are like single parents or like single uh, people or you're becoming single, be careful of who you let into your life here. I don't know why I'm getting, because there's going to be a lot of great actors and actresses that are putting on shows. I don't know why I'm seeing like the little movie thing. You see this up here? You know, the little movie strip where it turns in the old days and it plays the movies. There's going to be a lot of great actors and actresses coming into your life pretending to be somebody they not, or these are who are surrounded by you right now. And you're being guided away from these people. Like, it's going to be one of those situations like a quinky day. Your phone breaks. You have nobody's number anymore. And these people are like, dang, where you been? Where you da, 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 da. You got a new number. You don't know their numbers. They reaching out to you. And you're just like, I don't even know who this is. I don't even, I don't even know if I had all these extra numbers in my phone. Why do I don't even talk to these people? And you're going to start to realize they only come around when they need something, when they want something. Mm. Melancholy, told you. And you're going to start to realize, like, you're not even happy around these people. Letter, enemy, I'm telling y'all. A lot of y'all going to get confirmation these people around you are not, are not who they appear to be. And you're going to put an end to it. Death and frivolity. You're going to put an end to it because you realize they only want to celebrate with you when you're at the top of your game. You have death, frivolity, and misfortune. And that celebration is done. What's going on? I like this energy, though, because this is weeding out the snakes. A lot of y'all are cutting y'all's lawns so that you can see better. Cutting that grass down so that you can see better. What's the balance with the great fortune? 
a lot of y'all, these people are being moved out the way because they have hidden agendas. Like it's, you may be like, why did that person stop talking to me? Or why did that person stop coming around? Or why did that person, like you may be sad. Like why didn't that relationship work out? And then you find out the person's a thief. Or you find out that the person talked bad about you. It's like, you know, it's something like that. Or like, they weren't true or they weren't genuine anyway. They had like hidden motives. Uh, what's the justice card with the great fortune? What's the justice card with the great fortune? Please spirit and hope. Justice, great fortune, and hope. We got cyber bully coming in reverse here. We have forcer coming in reverse. And then shine coming in the upright. Yes. Being able to see through the fake and the phony and the people that aren't meant for you. Look, 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 dodging bullets. You're going to start to notice who you need to separate from and who you need to gravitate towards. A lot of y'all may be going in isolation, okay? The bullying, the talking ish about you online, all of that stuff, I feel like that's coming to an end because if there were people spreading rumors about you saying that you weren't this, you weren't that, you weren't, you weren't successful, all this and all that, you have proved all of these people wrong. With this forcer in reverse, they can't force this negative talk or this negative energy on you here. They can't force you to get involved in this negativity anymore. Because now with the shine card, your light irritates their demons. They realize that you're high vibrational. You're on this positive vibe energy. And the more that you're on this positive vibe energy, the more opportunities come into you. You know, it's like on that love energy. When you when you spread love and positivity more more blessings come in but when you dabble and dip into negativity that's blocking your blessings so a lot of y'all are realizing that i think other people are realizing that too with that cyber bully being in reverse they're realizing like me talking bad about this person bullying this person trying to tear them down make myself feel better it's not beneficial to me why did i i just heard the good always wins in the end so if somebody was like on this winning streak, I think she's about to wake up. If somebody was on this winning streak with this negative energy, everything is being reversed. Everything is being flipped over. And people are seeing that the negative people, low vibrational people are actually falling. What's the mental conflict? Facts, no facts, never has a facts, makes ish up and lies. So yeah, somebody was lying or being manipulative, wolf and sheep's clothing. This is somebody that was dishonest. They weren't being a truthful person around you here. You're letting them go, dust it off and ghost it. You may even be ghosting this person or they ghosted you. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. My kids, they came in to tell, tell me they love me before they get on the bus. So I'm watching them get on the bus now. All right. Um, so a lot of y'all may, some of y'all, these people could have ghosted you. This could have been, you know, maybe you didn't have closure with this mental conflict. Somebody could have put a, a dead in something without letting you know why they did this. They could have ghosted you. But the reason why they did this is because they were lying about something or they weren't being upfront about something here. Okay. Others of you, this could be you just, you know, releasing situations and letting it go and moving on. And these people may feel like you're ghosting them, but I don't feel like you're ghosting them. I feel like you're just cutting them off because, yeah, with the acting code on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're cutting them off because these people have been inconsistent with you anyway. They've been off and on. Yeah, unbothered. They lost their chance or you did. I feel like you're just moving on is what I feel. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, I'm going to see if I can try to finish this before she fully wake up. Okay. Let's see, what's this moon card with the main female and melancholy? Some of y'all might have been sad because you couldn't understand why somebody would ghost you or why somebody told lies on you or something like that. That's coming to the light as well. What's the melancholy? Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. And then haunted, ignoring. This person, somebody could have been ignoring you, not acknowledging you here. You might not have, it might have brought a lot of sadness to you. You not you may not have understood why this happened. This person could be watching you online. Or you may find out that they're watching you online. Want you back. This person could want you back. Caught a case. Ugh. Hold on. Okay.
sorry, I, she did wake up. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is like this person, you may not have known the caught a case with the once you back. You might not know that somebody actually wants you back. They could have slept around on you. Or this is a situation where it's like somebody had hidden intentions. Somebody that you used to talk to actually still looks you up online. They could be sleeping around with other people. Okay, messing around with other people. But they could be silently watching you here with the moves in silence and the kissing butt. Creativity muncher. Ooh, a lot of y'all, this person was a user or they used somebody that they slept with to make you mad or jealous or they were doing this to make you upset. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> That's so childish. It's like they were they were watching you to see how you would react with this looking you up, researching you, studying you. Or somebody, somebody was sleeping with somebody here trying to spread lies. Or they could have been spreading lies about you that you were sleeping around and stuff like that so that somebody wouldn't come towards you here. So me, yeah, this person's going through legal issues. They may have maybe having car problems, um, car trouble, car could be repoed or something like that. Somebody could be having uh, money problems, financial problems, hurdles, things like that. Oh my! Somebody could. Why is this melancholy there though? Hmm. Whoever this is, like, they're watching you here. If they used to bully you or, like, make fun of you or, like, try to, like, force people to talk bad about you in some sort of way or, like, force some type of negativity, that is being, like, put to a halt. That they, These were people that were trying to block you. That is being put to a halt because now you're seeing, like, what they were doing was to try to disrupt you or disturb your peace. That shine, your light, irritates their demons. That is... is it's like whatever you've been putting your time, energy, and effort into is progressing, it's evolving, it's bringing you great fortune, it's bringing you happiness, it's bringing you money, stability, abundance. You're like the freaking magician, right? And whatever this negativity that these people were trying to bring to you and force upon you, they were trying to stop you. That was part of the blockage here. But now with this mental conflict, with this lies and dusted off, if this person ghosted you, they tried to do that to like stop your abundance. It's like they seen something in you that they wanted to stop. And so they were willing to spread lies on you, talk bad about you here, you know, make, make you feel stuck in your head. Like, like they ended something with you to make you feel stuck. Or like somebody misjudged you like by telling lies here, they could have ghosted you and not given you closure. So you would feel stuck. Like, so you wouldn't move forward here. They did this purposely here and you're going to find out. It's like, you're finding out, the hidden energy of it is like the reason they did that was because they were watching you to see how you would react or they really wanted you back, but they were sleeping with other people to make you mad, to like make you upset because they seen how much of a greatness you are to see how beautiful, like something about you. Like they knew you were one of a kind. They knew you were great. They knew you were, they knew you were a person that everybody else wanted. So they went behind the scenes and did this little petty stuff to make you feel some type of way. So you wouldn't feel enough or feel good enough, or feel like you can move on and move forward. It's like they wanted to like keep you on a rope for whenever they were ready. Ugh, it's like very manipulative energy here. I don't know. Anyway, that blockage is being removed here, or you're going to understand why this person did what they did. Like Maybe you've been wondering, like why did that person treat me like that, or why did that person act like that towards me? It's because they really wanted to be with you. But they were petty, they were childish, and they were, you know, they seen you moving forward, doing great. And so they were angry and upset. So they, they didn't want to give you closure. The way that they ended things, they wanted to be able to run in and out of your life or come back whenever they were darn well ready. They could have even slept with other people or like friends or something like that to like make you mad. And it was all because they really wanted you back. <laughs> childish. This is high, high school stuff, like for real. But anyway, I see you doing great though. When it comes to your money, finances, stability, that's doing great. You got great fortune and hope. I see you moving forward, moving on, and being great at what you do. So just keep going, Scorpio. Don't worry about, you know, maybe you've been wondering, you know, that closure that you've always wanted. You're going to get it, but it's going to be like, really? That was the reason? 
Wow, that's sad, you know? So, but anyway, I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.